Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the new package we have published on Pop.dev. Well, how would you feel if you have an application, which of course you've done, either a web application or a mobile application, or a desktop application or a Mac application, and you have the opportunity to get your own self chatbot for WhatsApp? meaning you can communicate with your clients through WhatsApp. They can contact you directly. They can call you with no hassle. How would you feel when it comes to that? In that case, I am very, very excited to introduce this new package we have um, developed for you. WhatsApp chatbot. You know, in this kind of... Um, package you will be able to get your own chatbot which will really help you to communicate with your customers or with your clients those people using your application so what are the features of this application of this package it is fully customizable it has a chatbot appearance i mean it has a bubble color changing it has initial greetings and default response it has a placeholder for users input, easy integration in Flutter. It has bot typing feature. It can actually make a direct call and also chat directly on WhatsApp. So um, we have the latest version to be 0 0.0.4. It is, um, we're still trying to upgrade add more features, but it's now complete and you can start using it. Now, how can we use this? So I actually have a project here, which of course I'm going to run on um, a Chrome. I'm just going to run it on a Chrome, like clicking on this run and debug, click on run and let's wait for it to run. Now, whilst we are waiting for this, let's really talk about um, the package itself. So we have a full example here, which you can literally um, take a good look at that. Now, there are some things that it actually contains, which we will be tackling out. We will be tackling it in no time. Now, this is our application and we have our project just right here. Mm, nice. So since we have our application here, how can we implement the new WhatsApp chatbot? So to do that, just go to pop.dev and search for WhatsApp chatbot. And technically this is what you will see. You will, I mean, this is what you see. Just go here and search for WhatsApp chatbot. Then you give it a search and this is it. First thing first, please like the package which will really help us to reach to the top. Then you click on WhatsApp chatbot. Let's click on this thing to copy the package. And let's come to um, our pop spec EML. That is very, very important. We need our pop spec EML for this. So let's go straight to our pop spec EML. And after this Copertino icons, let's just paste our version here and save the project. Just make sure your dependencies are good and up running. Well, there are some things I really have to talk about when it comes to implementing this kind of feature into your application. First of all, your main application, your main body should return a stack. You can't use any other widget except using stack. I don't know how best you can work along with it, but you have to use stack. So technically I'm going to, um, I'm going to create a new stateful widget right here. I'm just going to delete all these guys and I'm going to create a new one called homepage. Nothing serious. Then I'll create a new stateful widget and I'll call this homepage. Right. So the placeholder is going to be a scaffold. Perfect. Oh, come on. Yeah, scaffold. And let's remove the const. So in this case, the body is actually going to be a stack like that. 
And as you know, that contains children. So inside the children, that is where we are going to add up our package. So now, as you can see here, we have nothing right here. And let's quickly add an up bar so that you can see this very well. So we have an up bar. And let's set the background color to colors dot um, amber. Right. So we have a very beautiful um, theme, whatever you, you might call it. So inside here, we already have our package imported. So we definitely have to call it. So we say WhatsApp chat bot like that. So it requires settings for this. And we have to add the settings. That is the configuration for the WhatsApp chatbot. So how are we going to do this? You can actually create it extra one, but I'm going to show you the easiest way. So top here, we're going to declare, um, a, 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 I mean, we're going to create something called settings like that. And this settings is going to be equal to config, 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 just like that. And this config has a lot of things you have to add up here. It has some parameters you have to add. I mean, it has some things you have to pass. And I'm going to take you through um, these kind of things gradually, step by step, so that you can understand how this actually really works. All right. So um, since you can see this, I believe you know how this is going to work. So from the first time, it needs a chat background like the background color of the chat. So the background color can be set to a default color. And as you can see here, when you come down here, we have those guys, those kind of um, things right here. So with a background color, it can be any color I think you want. So I'm just going to copy this color since I don't want to type everything again. So with a chat background color, I'll just paste it right here. Now I have a color for the chat background and we have online indicator. So online indicator is actually going to be the indicator which will show that either the user is online or not. So the online indicator too, I'll just copy this color and I'll just quickly replace it here. So to make everything looks very easy, I'll just go back here, copy everything here, come back. And um, I will quickly paste everything here. You see, nothing really wrong here. So just have everything. And I just have to change the config to settings, just like this. All right, so this is going to be a bot delay. That is going to be when the bot is creating the response. The seconds is going to delay. So you can change this to any other seconds you really want if you want to, if you want your bot to delay more. And this is a text when the bot is, you know, thinking or preparing your response. And this is a default response message. If the bot doesn't recognize the question you are asking or the request you are asking. So it is going to say, sorry, I didn't catch that. Then it comes to a new line. Then they say, please try again. Now, these are keywords. So the keywords are the things the bot is going to detect. So we have hello, and when you type hello, it doesn't matter wherever you type it, whatever you type it, you can say hello, whatever, whatever chatbot, how are you? Or you can say hello, whatever, whatever chatbot, since your message contains hello, it's going to return hi. How can I assist you today? And if you say hi, it's going to respond to you, hello, how can I be of help today? And when you say, how are you? It's going to say, I'm doing great. Yeah, so you can actually add more keywords and response. So I can say when it says, it detects something like manager, it's going to say, it's going to say, um, you, uh, you can um, chat with the manager um, by clicking the button um the chat button just like that so you add the you add um you add the question here then you add your default response right here 
right so now this is greeting this is going to be the initial startup when um, the child body is being started this will be the greeting of the bot the the bot is going to greet you like this and this is going to be the header text that is going to be your company's name and this is going to be the sub the sub header text that is going to indicate whether the person is online the bot is online or offline and also we have a button text here you can actually change it it is start chat so technically let's just run this and see how it's going to be so i'll quickly save this and i'll click on this reload button just right here so click on the reload button and in no time there you go you see we have it right here there you go so technically you have everything just right in point so you just click on this and there you go we have our chatbot now we have some icons you have to play along with but i guess you can change them later so this is going to be how it's going to be so you can click on live chat and that is actually going to um, redirect you to um, chat with a person directly using their whatsapp and you have to update um, your whatsapp number here and also the default message you want um, the person to send to that particular whatsapp number so yeah so that's how it actually looks like and also you can just click on this start chat and you can start chatting hello and there you go bot is thinking and here is typing you can see there so it is actually delaying three seconds so it says hi how can i assist you today so i can say um how can i contact the manager so since i have the keyword manager here and from the keywords i have manager here it's actually going to give me this response right there so let's test it out so i click on this it is thinking it has the typing it has the time and boom there you go you can actually chat with the manager not that only i mean it is fully customizable so you can customize and work on the vertical flex and everything is going to be fine so you can say hi and that is actually going to give me um, a response based on that and i can say maybe how are you doing yeah and this is actually going to tell me that um yeah it's going to it's going to give me a response based on what i have so this is quite interesting and it can be implemented in any system if you have a website whatever you think you can actually do it and if you want to continue building your system i believe you have a stack here so you can actually go inside the children and you can start using the position or you can just add a center widget or a column whatever you want to add and you can just return a text whatever you want to do just continue and do that and technically that is actually going to work so you can do all your extra jobs here along with your beautiful chatbot you can work along with the colors as well now play along and i believe everything is going to be cool right thank you very much for joining me on this go and enjoy the package and i really i really believe that you will never regret it my name still remains like soft original and see you on the next video. Have a nice day and I'm out.